blue corner. He's wearing red shirt with gray. He officially weighed in at 138 and one quarter pounds. This is a 24 fight veteran with 12 victories, 10 defeats, two draws, and one knockout. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, by way of Agua Prieta, Sonora, Mexico. Please welcome Jose Marufo. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the Gucci pattern trunks, tan, green, and red. He officially in at 139 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in the ring with 10 victories, no defeats, seven wins coming by way of knockout. El hijo de Pico Rivera, please welcome Angel El Moreno Rodriguez. And now to give final instructions, it's a referee charge, Gerard Wright. As Gerard Wright gets ready to give these final instructions, Angel looks in terrific shape. Yes, he does. He looks like he peaked at the exact right time. We spoke with him in the gym, saw him train, interviewed him a couple of weeks ago. Eight round main event. As I said before, for the vacant WBC Silver US NBC Super Lightweight title, which means neither fighter could be over 140 pounds. Super welterweight, junior welterweight, super lightweight, junior welterweight are the same thing, depending on what sanctioning body. As we get ready for the first round. Both fighters, maybe because a little bit of a hesitation on their walkout, took a little time. They both look a little dry, and they're gonna have they're gonna have to get warmed up and heated up here real quick. And as we go to the opening bell, you have Marufo in the burgundy trunks, and then you got El Moreno in the Gucci theme with white trim, white lettering as he forces Marufo up against the ropes. Sometimes a young fighter, um, they have to remain composed. Right. You've got a lot of hundreds of people here watching you. Your dad's a promoter. Um, your emotions can get a little bit outside you. Right. And I think it's going to take a couple of, a round or two maybe to work out the nerves as Marufa tries to close the distance. He's a 23 fight veteran and, in, and he's definitely throwing some punches with some bad intentions. The crowd has moved up about 10 feet right on top of the ring as Marufo lands a really good left hook and he lands another good left hook as they tie up. And Marufo doing some, some nice little work on the inside. I don't think Angel has found his sea legs yet as he's taken a couple of good shots, but he digs a really, really good left hand underneath. But Marufo came to fight. Yes, he did, and Angel was very aware of that. Who you know, uh, the Phoenix Car I mean, the Phoenix Arizona Cardinals might have been eliminated from the football playoffs, but Marufo said, you know what? I'm still alive and kicking over here. Both fighters exchange a left hook and a right hand, and Marufo looks quite comfortable in there right now, and it's gonna take something by Rodriguez to probably halt him in his tracks to give him that moment of pause. Notice um, Angel's belt line, Amara Liz. Shout out to Angel's baby girl. And I've had a chance to see her a few times. Beautiful little girl. Very beautiful little girl. She has a great little smile. Uh, hats off to Chris, Angel's sister, Crystal. Best the in the world. Yes, because uh, they seem to be very tight, like, a, like an aunt, like my, my sister, uh, Gina, Irvick, my older son, Andrew. They just had that bond that they created at a very young age. As the crowd yells out to Angel. I don't think Angel's got his sea legs yet, though. Marufo's uh, come out a little hot and hit him with a good right hand right now. And Marufo definitely came to fight. And I think he's creating a little bit of problems for Angel because he's 
He's very shifty. He's very herky jerky. And you know what? He's not afraid to he's not afraid to test the waters and and, and, and kind of hit when they're clinching. Good uppercut by Angel. Yeah, he threw a good uppercut, but he also took a couple of good body shots. <laughs> really good competitive first round. But it's an eight-round fight. You know, in an eight-round fight, it's not like the four-rounders we've seen earlier. They can take their time a little bit. That's right. Um, you're not going to win a fight unless you knock it out in the first round. And speaking of knockouts, the lovely Shelly Reaver. I hope that doesn't make people want to get closer to the ring. It might. Because we got people like where we had a lot of room behind us, now everybody's all on top of us. One of the things the referee does is, as you can see Gerard White doing over there in Marufa's corner, is in between rounds they go over. Not only do they, they take the scores from the judges, they go over and check on each fighter to make sure they have their safety equipment in order and make sure that the fighter has their faculties and they're ready for that next round. And that's what a good professional referee does. As we see Marufo switch to southpaw and then back to the orthodox style, kind of moving back and forth. And I see what Angel's trying to do there. He landed a good uppercut. And that definitely got Marufo's attention. Angel looks to be the stronger puncher. Marufo's just a little bit more active as Angel gives a nice right hand uppercut to the body. And Angel's starting to sit down with his legs a little bit. And that stopped Marufo dead in his tracks. But he comes back with a good one, too, as Angel digs underneath. Angel's got a little too square. I don't like how square Angel is, even though he's digging underneath. And right now, they're both giving as good as, as they're getting. Angel seems to be the harder puncher, Vanessa. But for every one he's landing, Marufo's coming back with two. But I, I like what Angel's doing. He's starting, to, he's starting to set the tone with his power. He's a strong kid. And this is shaping up, Vanessa, to be a really exciting fight. Absolutely, Mike. And this is what you want. You want a young fighter, whether if you're the promoter, whether it's your son or not, you want him to be tested. That's right. Because this, that's, this, that's is, this is going to bode well two years down the road, three years down the road. Absolutely. Fans pay good money, and they want to see entertainment, and this is exactly what they're doing. Is Angel starting to land some harder shots? Marufo's still right there, but I got a feeling if Angel can put two really good hard shots together, he may be able to start backing Marufo up. But on the other side of that, Marufo's activity, he's finding a little bit of home for that sneaky right hand over the top because Angel's got a low guard. And Angel should be making his hand, bringing it up a little higher as they get closer instead of dropping it down. And Marufo comes back with a good four punch combination. They're not really hurting Angel. But he just landed six or seven good shots. Angel's kind of telling him, like, no, you're not, you're not hurting me. But let me tell you one thing. He's scoring points. Yes, he is. Marufo definitely came to fight tonight. Angel's not moving his head as much this round. He's pulling back a little bit. And Angel started using his jab right there, and I think he needs to use his jab a little bit more. As we close out round two, good, exciting round. Marufo was a little more active, landed a few more shots, but the harder shots, the harder shots were definitely landed by Angel underneath. As we move into round three, this crowd is super excited. I know they're excited about the fight. Could it be for Linda too? Yes, definitely excited about Linda. Hasn't even been round three and they're already cheering for round three. And four and five. <laughs> I mean, I think they're hoping this fight keeps going. I know they want Angel to get a knockout, 
but I think they they, they want to see Linda and Shelly a little bit more, so maybe they can get them into the sixth and seventh round. Shout out to Linda and Shelly. There you go. Good job, ladies. Luca Morales imploring Angel to keep his hands up. And I think one of the things that he's not doing on the inside is he needs to keep his hands up. And Marufo doesn't seem to be too intimidated by the crowd as he hits Angel with a good body shot. I think Angel was having some success with ripping some shots underneath. And there's a good right uppercut again. And knocks the mouthpiece out. And we're going to wait for a break in the action. As Marufo's mouthpiece comes out. Looks like Mar Marufo has a cut on top of his eye. And you got better eyes than me. With the lighting right here, it's hard to see. But that's something we're going to keep an eye on. I think you're absolutely right as he moves his glove over there. And that might have been caused... Big that might have been caused by a headbutt. It looked like a headbutt, absolutely. And the referee has ruled. The, the referee has ruled that it's a headbutt. As Angel lands a good stiff jab. And even though it was from a headbutt and there's blood, it somehow has energized Angel a little bit. Sometimes when you see your opponent with blood, but Marufo's coming back digging the body. And one thing Maruf is really good at doing, Vanessa, he's really good at hitting when they're when they're almost at a clinch. And Angel's got to be more aware of that. And that's something with more experience. He's going to realize that these guys with 20 fights, they're very crafty. They've been with a lot of good fighters. They haven't always had the best success, but they know their way around the ring. And Maruf was a guy that definitely knows his way around the ring. So his sparring partner, Lazy, must have not been that lazy because I don't think you can spar or fight Maruf and be lazy. That's right. And he's trying to mug, he's trying to mug Angel a little bit right now. And he definitely looks like he, he wobbled Angel a little bit with a left hook. Angel needs to compose himself right now because he's letting Marufo just get off on him. They're not the hardest shots. As Angel pushes him back and the referee's going to separate him. What a fight. Angel looks a little tired. And we're going to see if Marufo can, can definitely keep up this pace. Angel's going to have to definitely dig down to win this fight. We're going to look for him to maybe catch a second win as he lands a couple of good body shots underneath. Another one. Both guys are a little flat-footed right now. As he hits Angel with a good right hand, and he's also digging to Angel's body. Angel's body language right now doesn't look the best to me. You know, he's coming off a first round knockout, so he didn't get any rounds then. And even though Maruf was on the ropes, he's trying to finish this round strong. As the crowd implores Angel to come on, Maruf was kind of like the energizer bunny. And I look for Angel in this next round to maybe get a second win and gather himself. The one thing you don't want to do, Vanessa, you're fighting in front of your hometown. Right. You got all the momentum in the world. You're undefeated. You got a journeyman guy coming in from out of town. You don't want to give him hope. That's right. Momentum That's right. in life, in sports, momentum can carry you a long way. Right now, if Marufo can keep up this pace, he's got some momentum. I don't like what Angel's body language is right now. I'm going to look for him to have a good comeback round. He's going to need to have a good comeback round to get this guy off of him. That's right. The crowd, literally everybody here is on their feet. As we move into round four. As Angel's corners, they're kind of giving him an airful a little bit. You know, I have to probably think this may, may be his toughest fight so far. Absolutely, and like I stated before, Mike, coming into the fight, Angel knew this guy, you know, didn't come to play. He came to give him more, and that's what he's giving him. And I think what's happening is Angel's not using his jab enough to keep, so he's letting Marufo kind of set up and throw any punch he wants. So Marufo's not landing. 
every punch. But if you throw six or seven hard punches, you're going to land four or five of them. As he lands a couple of good shots, and Angel's going to need to stay off of those ropes. He lands a good left hook on Angel. And this guy's like a Tasmanian devil. And remember what I talked about with momentum. He feels like right now, you know what? This is my... Marufa feels like this is his fight to win. That's right. Yo, Mick, get back. Get back, dude. Got some guy over here uh, knocking over our camera. I'm sorry <laughs> if I got a little excited, but we got some guy over here with a drink on the apron. <laughs> You're about to have another fight. Moving our cameras. <laughs> Angel gathered himself a little bit. Marufo's punch output has slowed down just a hair, but then, right when I say that, what happens? He speeds up. He comes up. right back. They seem to have done a good job. They seem to have done a good job on that, uh, on the small cut on Marufo. What a crowd. Yeah, we got people literally having drinks on the apron. <laughs> Shout out to our security. There's Marufo lands a good right hand. Nice right hand downstairs. And you know what? He's not landing everything, but he's landing enough, Vanessa. What, is, what do you see with Angel's body language? You know Angel a little bit better than me, but what do you see with his body language? I mean, Angel's usually a knockout you know, kind of guy. He comes in to give the knockout, but this this fight around, you know, he's giving him more, and Angel just needs to put those hands up, for sure. Yeah, and that's what happens when you have a guy on you and he's, and he's, and he's pounding on you, you know, it's, um, it's easier said than done. Absolutely. I think Angel needs to actually get back to the jab, but he just got hit with a really good hit, right hand downstairs. And bends his knees, bend his knees a little bit, and he needs to keep his hands up. Because some of these shots that he's getting hit with, like that right hand, he shouldn't be getting hit with it. They're closing out another round. And this fight is getting more interesting as each round goes by. We're coming up into round five, and uh, we're halfway done with the main event. The WBC Silver US NBC Super Lightweight title. Buco Morales working on a couple of little abrasions on Angel's face. The corner over in Marufo's corner seems to be doing a good job. They're paying a lot of attention to that cut. It, it wasn't an issue in the last two rounds. Yo, you guys back the fuck up. Back up. Sorry, uh, I cussed on air, but we got some people getting a little too close for comfort over here. <laughs> and I forgot I had the, heads, the headphones on, so my bad. These guys are probably going to try to jump me after the thing, but that's all right. <laughs> they are too close. They're obviously El, El Moreno fans, and I know they're passionate about their fighter. Too excited. The inside doctor taking a look at those abrasions that I mentioned over there on Angel's face. As you can see, the abrasion on the left side of, uh, of Marufo. And he's got some swelling there on the left side of his eye. And the doctor's going to ask him the question, hey, can you see? And, you know, the, and it's, a lot of it's going to have to do with, with how, the, with how, the, with how the, the fighter responds. But I think Angel knows he's in a real fight now. We have four rounds here. I know there, is some, there has to be some added pressure. His dad's a promoter. Of course. He's got the big hometown crowd here. El hijo de Pico Rivera. You know, there's a... Marufo's mouthpiece ends up out again. Angel lands a good shot, but he just keeps coming. 
And I don't think he spit the mouthpiece out because he was hit by anything. Oh, as the referee breaks, as the referee breaks up the action, there really wasn't a lull in the action. And I think Marufa, even though it was his mouthpiece was out, um, would probably wish that it, it would have continued. And this crowd is really, really amped up, and um, I can only imagine how it, if it would be if, if somehow Angel uh, came up short on a decision. Rufo lands a good lead left hook. He's not a big puncher, Vanessa, and I think I think that's served Angel better that Marufo's not a big puncher. He's an active puncher, but he lands a really good right hand there. And he just keeps coming. And it's really going to test. It's going to be a battle of conditioning as we come down the home stretch of this fight as Angel lands a really good right, right and left of the body and gets off a good four-punch combination. And he needs to do more of that. Another, he's digging downstairs now. And Marufo just kind of looks at him and smiles and says, you know what, let's keep going. These guys are good dance partners. Good right uppercut by Angel with an overhand right. Marufo comes back with two jabs. They're like in between jabs and hooks. Yes. He's just throwing. But he keeps landing that straight left hand that keeps hitting Angel because he's got his hands down. Yeah, he definitely needs to bring those hands up. And I'm pretty sure that's the same thing his corner is telling him. Absolutely. Angel's a tough kid. Uh, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. There's no quit in him. I think he's just making some fundamental errors. But it's easier said than done. You got a guy on your ass. He's throwing a lot of punches. A guy with over 20 professional fights. And this is the kind of fight that's going to separate the pretenders from the contenders. That's right. It's been a good round. Both guys have, have seen their moments as we come down to the, the last 10 seconds of the round. And it just depends what the judges are looking for. Good, good round right there. We're coming up in round six. We have no music playing in the background. No, that's how good the fight is. There's no music playing right now. Even the, even the DJ is so into the fight. I think the DJ's down here at ringside. We even, got, we even got a lot of younger, lot of younger kids here enjoying the fight. I know they like gaming. Um, my friend Eric Jackson, I know I've mentioned him a bunch of times, but you know what? When you don't see a guy and talk to a guy in 40 years, his son, Ryder, has a uh, YouTube channel called Cozily, C-O-Z-I-L-Y. And go ahead and subscribe to his YouTube channel for gaming and give it, give that young man some followers, okay? So All Ryder, right. I got your back, brother. He got you, Ryder. As we move into the sixth round, I, I hope you're enjoying the fight tonight. And remember, follow that on YouTube, C-O-Z, C-O-Z-I-L-Y. You know, Vanessa, this is to me this is a this is a big round in the fight, the sixth round. It's what I'm gonna call is gonna call a swing round. Because if somebody can carry that momentum into the last two rounds. I think we have a really, really close fight. I think Marufo has landed more punches, Angel's line of the harder shots. The problem is that every time Angels land to get, to get a good rally together, Marufa kind of stymies that rally because of his activity. That's right. Now, one thing to, one thing to just to keep in the back of your mind, Marufa's lost his mouthpiece twice. That's right. And I'll be interested to see that if he loses his mouthpiece a third time, if referee Gerard White will take any action to possibly penalize him and take a point away. I hope that's not the case because I don't think he was taking his mouthpiece out to get an advantage. I think he was just so excited about punching 
that he had his mouth open and it came out. That's right. And they are both digging some heavy shots on the inside. And sometimes when somebody says, hey, who's a stronger puncher? Who has the most power? You know what it comes down to? Is who can take the other guy's power the best? That's right. Absolutely. And Daniel lands a good right uppercut. And Maruvo comes back with a solid right hand. As Angel looks a little worse for wear on that one. Maruvo comes back with a left hook. As Angel's nose is bleeding. And Maruvo is just staying on him. And Maruvo came in and saying, who's hometown? He may, Angel may be the, the son of Pico Rivera, but a guy like Marufo is just staying on him as Marufo's eyes are starting to swell underneath his right eye and over his left eye. But they've done a good job keeping him in the fight so that those, those issues are not, have not been a factor. As the crowd yells Angel, and Angel digs a good, two good left hooks and a right hand of the body. Marufo comes back with it right there, exchanging body shots. It's going to come down to like conditioning and who can take the other's best shot. Marufo just keeps coming. And for this eight round fight, these next two rounds, the seventh and eighth, will be the championship rounds of this fight. That's right. Good round of action. I'm going to be interested to see who can come back. With the, and get that second, that last gas second win. Yep. They're both going to have energy in the eighth round just because they know it's the last round, Vanessa. Yeah. But it's this round here, is just like I thought the sixth was going to be critical, the seventh round was going to be critical. Right. Both corners, both corners working diligently on their fighters. Stopping some bloody noses. Some small abrasions and cuts. Yuka Morales, a very well-rounded trainer, cut man in his own right. Looking at George Shields and Freddie Silva over there from Phoenix, Arizona. Tending to their charge. Jose Marufo. And we enter into round seven and both guys are ready to go. And referee Gerard White. Let's him go, and Marufo comes right back with a couple of good hard shots. El Moreno's got his mouth open, and Marufo looks like he might have caught that second win. Like I said, he doesn't land with everything, but he's landing enough, and he just hit Angel with a really good body shot underneath. And Angel's starting to bend over a little bit, which is not a good recipe because you put yourself in a bad position to get hit with shots over the top, which you may perceive as getting hit to the back of the head, but really, because you're bending over, you're creating the bad angle for yourself. Gotcha. Hey, he's just throwing off. He may can't miss. Keep your distance. <laughs> Lots of Monday morning quarterback coaches around the ring. <laughs> Lots of people on their toes. Lots of people that have drank a lot of alcohol. And that's why they're on their toes. They're stumbling over. <laughs> Angel complaining a little bit about possible headbutts, but in a fight like this, it's a very high contact physical fight. You, these two guys can't help but clash heads every now and then. As referee Gerard Wright warns Marufo about pushing his head down. Like I said, I hope a point deduction does not have an impact on this fight. Good left, three good left hooks by Marufo. One to the body and two to the head. And Angel's going to have to like stem the tide here. And he's going to have to start punching because on the inside now, he's looking to just clinch and bend over while Marufo's trying to punch. They clash heads again. Marufo looks like he got a, a forehead right in the cheek. 
And both of these guys are going to be really sore tomorrow. <laughs> it's a really you, active fight. And you may not recognize them, and they're going to be wearing sunglasses for a few weeks. <laughs> but Moreno I mean, finally, not... finally lands a jab, and I just think he's really underused that jab. And I think when he takes a look at this fight afterwards, he's going to realize that, you know what? I probably was the guy with the most skill and the most talent, and sometimes you've got to use those gifts. But yes. Let me tell you something. I'm, in, I'm impressed with Angel because he's a, he's a tough guy. He's got a really big upside, but he's in there with a really good, determined fighter tonight. There, and that's what that combination right there is what I've been waiting to see out of Angel. Maybe he got a little burst of his second win where he got a little bit of active with his feet, moving his head, and they let his hands fly. And you know what? That combination might have won him the round in a very close fight as we move our way into the last round as both guys show respect and they kind of nudge elbows. They're trying to kill each other for those three minutes, but you know what? They respect each other. Yes, they do. Regardless of what happens. And Shelly Rivas has the duties of the eighth and final round. Referee Gerard White will have them touch gloves in a demonstration of good sportsmanship. Both guys breathing heavy, as they should be. You know, and these are the fights that they're going to fight, become um, main event fighters and fighting for world titles. they got to move, move into those ten rounds. You've seen how physical this fight is the previous seven rounds, moving into the final eighth round. Now take that three more rounds, four more rounds, as you move into the 11th, 12th round. I remember last week, Mark Magsayo against Gary Russell. Russell was having some success in the seventh eighth and ninth round and Mark the eighth and final round and Mark got his second win in the tenth eleventh and twelfth round which really won him the fight and now a week later he's a world champion so you're gonna see a good burst of energy from both guys one guy may start off really really hot and really really fast and that's gonna be the guy that can close the show in that last round and that jab I'm, I'm it's really been underused by Angel Moreno like that jab. He has a really good jab. Exactly. And there it is again. And that jab really sets everything else. And that lets me know that Angel Moreno, when loser draw tonight, he has talent. Yes, he has he ability. Yes, he does. And it's just a matter of listening to your corner. And it's a matter of applying those things that you work on. And putting those skills to work. And then you got a guy like Marufa who just don't care. He's just going to fight. Three, he's going to make you fight three minutes of every round, kind of like a guy like a like a Sean Porter, a fighter I used to work with that's a, that's a two-time world champion. He's just going to stay on you. Absolutely what you need to be able to, you know, showcase your skills and get the yeah. skills you need. And once again, Angel lands a good jab. And you know what it's going to come down to, Vanessa, is how the judges are recognizing and giving the guy credit for his work. Because there's nothing you're going to be able to do to tell Maruf, Maruf will, you won't be able to tell him he lost this fight. Just like with Jalen Jalen Phillips earlier that I thought he won that fight. As we're coming down to just under a minute left. Both guys weary and tired, obviously. And to me, who can who can get this last rally may be able to get this get this round, and that may be the difference in the fight. You know, and before we go off and close this round, I want to thank you, Vanessa, for all your hard work you've done, uh, making me part of the, making me feel welcome to the Marv Nation family. Uh, you put a tremendous amount of research in, and I, I really applaud you for that. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Such a pleasure working with you. You already know that. You know, to all the people that have tuned in and, and been communicating with us all night, I thank you very much. It has helped me able to connect with people and stay connected to them, and that's what this great sport, the Sweet Science of Boxing, is all about. As we get ready to close the show in the final 15, 20 seconds of this fight, Hall of Fame timekeeper Mike North getting ready to signal 10 seconds, and the crowd will come to their feet as we close the show here in Pomona, California. As the crowd yells, Angel. Both guys, I'm sure, will put their hands up, believing they won this fight. They both look a little bit worse for wear, but this is what professional boxing is all about. As we close it out here, folks, and you just hear the crowd response as we work to that final bell. Oh, 
<laughs> and Marufa wants to keep fighting. Give him two more rounds. <laughs> Big thanks to our, uh, our production team. They did a great job. The lighting, the sound. George, our, uh, our stage manager, who only had to yell at us a couple of times, did a fabulous job. The fans are literally on top of the ring right now. I want to thank a great job by not only Marv Nation, but the California State Athletic Commission. Our host here at the Derby Room, here at the Fairplex in Pomona, formerly of the finish line sports bar and grill that I worked many fights for many years. And all our great fans that have tuned in tonight that have uh, made this night fly by. Absolutely, Mike. I know Angel's going to think that he won the fight. Marufo's definitely going to have an argument for that. I just hope the fans, regardless of the decision, everybody keeps their wits about them. Waiting on the decision. The judges are tallying up the score. Both fighters getting some treatment. Showing each other love and respect. Just a great night of fights tonight, Vanessa. A really, really solid night. Marv Nation continues to build their brand. Hats off to our out-of-state fighters that came in. They knew they were up against it, but then you see a guy like Jose Marufo. Um, it's going to be a really interesting decision. I'm Absolutely. not going to argue either way. If Marufo gets a decision, um, I won't argue with it. Angel did land some hard punches. I thought Marufo landed more punches, but this is not amateur boxing. It's professional boxing, and That's sometimes right. the harder puncher is going to get more credit but you know all the animosity and the fire they showed in the ring and we're taking up the ring announcer marcos rodriguez all right fans after eight rounds we go to the judges scorecards judge carla caiz and fernando villarreal both see about 80 to 72 and judge max deluca sees about 73 79 to 73 all for your winner and new vacant wbc silver ufc mbc champion from Phoenix, Arizona, Jose It's a fair decision. Marufo. You know, initially when I saw that the scores were a little wide, sometimes that may go in favor of the hometown guy, but you know what? I can't argue with that. Angel will Angel will, will learn from this. Absolutely. He will become a, a better fighter because of this. He's already a good man. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a lot of good things going on in his life. Um, he's going to be disappointed for sure. But he accounted himself like a true pro tonight. And you know what? Let's give it to the Let's man of the hour because he's very emotional the with Jose Marufo. And before we close the show, Vanessa, I know there's anybody you'd like to thank because you did a wonderful job. And I hope we get to do this again really, really soon. Well, I just want to thank Marv Nation for